Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David W. Parker, and welcome to another OpenGL screencast. Today we'll be talking briefly about how to make a skybox in OpenGL. And so let's first show you what that is, and then we can um, actually do it. So here, excuse me, we will make this real quick, we'll run it. And so what a skybox is, is it's basically, it doesn't have to be clouds or sky or anything, but it's just basically an area where you see continuous pictures all the way around you. So no matter which way you're looking, you're seeing images. So, um, and zoom out here, actually it's going all the way around. So that's what we will take a look at doing today. It's pretty simple. And then we'll talk about some things to think about when you make it. So let's get into the code here. Uh, only thing that we've changed here is we've added a Windows Special back, and then we're just going to init Skybox. Um, globals pretty much all the same. Um, the Skybox is going to be an array uh, where we're going to have the front, right, left, back, up, and down stored. And if we look over uh, in our globals here, we can see that we have a Skybox. Uh, array and we just define these textures to be all different so nothing really new going on there um, and then as far as the window special goes we are just having right left up and down so that way we can look all around so nothing too crazy going on there um, let's take a look at our display Getting back into the same things that we always do. Uh, this is all back to the way it was before. There's no if here for, and we're not using the glit ortho 2D uh, like last time. We're going back to glue perspective and our draw scene. Um, all this is the same. Swap open buffers. Uh, so the only difference is I put all the draw stuff in with the display uh, just for having fewer files for this particular screencast. Draw scene, all it's going to do is call try skybox, uh, providing it with 3.5 times the dimension. And so skybox, basically we're going to enable our textures and then bind each partic particular texture for the right, front, left, and back, and then the top and the bottom. And so each of these is basically, all it is is a quad and we have the texture coordinates from 0 to 1 um, all the way around just like normal and then we draw our square, our quads, from uh, counterclockwise just like normal for all uh, six quads that we end up doing here and so that's really the entire code, it's very simple um, you may have noticed the one thing that I, is on here that could be better is you, you could barely see the lineage between each of these um, images of where they connect and so what you might want to do is instead of just having these in be identical have some of them go just slightly past uh, the uh, their counterparts and so that you get uh, none of that weird overlap there uh, but that's pretty much it um, we will see you guys next time for another screencast soon